Hello there, and welcome back. This is lesson three of the art of manliness. Blondes prefer gentlemen in the 21st century. I have an interesting topic, but I know that there is not a gentleman out there who has not either consciously or subconsciously addressed this, and that is flowers. I know how men feel about flowers versus women feeling about flowers, and I want to go on the record of saying that every gentleman that I have ever, ever known has always understood and appreciated the value of um, communicating with flowers and also the power that flowers have um, in communicating and also in giving life as they sit around you. I'm always, always impressed when I go visit a gentleman in his home that his surroundings are, things are in place, there's a beautiful bouquet of amaryllis and things are in order. His bathroom is clean and it doesn't mean that he's a sissy or anything like that. It just means that he is refined. He's a gentleman and he understands the uh, importance of having beautiful things around him. So what is it to know about flowers? It is appropriate to bring flowers to any occasion as long as you bring the right kind of flowers if you're not sure what the right kind of flowers is with two clicks of a mouse you can go to a website that talks about the meaning of flowers uh, with the language that you would like to speak and I remember two little stories about flowers and you know how long ago they were and look how they still are emblazoned on my heart because it impressed me so so much and both of them did not include flowers for me so it just goes to show you how how other people are watching all the little actions that you do the one goes way way back uh, in the 80s and I used to work in a grocery store Alpha Beta and I was a courtesy clerk and I put groceries in bags as people checked out and every week I think it was on a Friday even this guy would come in and he he physically he wasn't very attractive but he always was groomed so nicely he always smelled so nice a very nice clean smelling cologne and he had um, really uh, very nice clothes. I always, I just remember he always dressed so nicely, and he never said anything. He never spoke a word that I ever heard him utter, but he communicated in another way that obviously, after all these years, I still remember. He bought flowers every week for his. Um, I don't know if it was his wife or his girlfriend or whatever, but he always bought flowers every single week. And so for $3.99 or however much they were at the time, um, he didn't you know, spend a whole lot of money, but he lit up somebody's life. And it was interesting because I always wondered, who's he bringing flowers for? What's that all about? <laughs> and um, well, one time this girl came in with him and she was so darling oh my gosh she was so darling and she was dressed so cute i mean she was what we would call today just a little hottie and they were so sweet together and i thought here is a gentleman who understands how important it is to remember all the, the refining things about flowers and you know there <laughs> the other story that i remember um, about flowers is there was this guy who we knew he was a family friend and he started dating this girl and I think it became very clear kind of towards the beginning that he really wanted to marry this girl and he had dated and dated and dated for for so long that people thought he would be a confirmed bachelor forever but um, with this girl 
he, I said, well, are you trying to win her heart? He goes, no, I just can't help it. I, I want to give her flowers. And so I, I knew the girl and I lived about, um, I just lived the street over. And so he would come to me before he would have his date with her and drop off these flowers for his girlfriend or his date. And that after they left on their date, I would go deliver the flowers so that when she came home uh, and they ended their date or whatever, that those flowers would be there from him. And every week he did his little homework and he studied the different types of flowers and um, he, he, <laughs> he just was so clever about doing it. I will never, ever forget it. Um, somebody else uh, recently sent um, virtual flowers in my email. 250,000 roses. There were a whole scroll down page of dozens and dozens of roses. And that was so wonderful. And so I wanted to invite you, if you would like to um, help everybody out, if you would like to send me flowers, that I could use in my backdrops here and that I I would be delighted to receive real flowers. I absolutely love flowers and I do have a florist who lives not five minutes away and I love his work. He just does such amazing uh, floral couture arrangements and I am telling you it is like magic. So I'm going to include a link to his website that you can really learn a lot about the beauty and the power of flowers. So that's my challenge to you. If you um, if you don't want to send me flowers, totally, that's fine. But um, get flowers for your own self. Put them on your table. And some of the other videos I did about feng shui, that's a very powerful way to have some nice energy flowing around you. It's putting out some beautiful flowers. So um, hopefully, I don't want to belabor this point, but learn the beauty, the meaning, the art, the power and appreciation and beauty of flowers because they're not just for women. They're for you too. And they do give off an energy. I was in a, another workshop recently about how much energy a rose gives off. A, a rose. I, I mean, the people have roses all over inside a hospital, and that's because they are healing. So don't ever underestimate the amazing gift of being a refined gentleman by using flowers. Thanks for joining me on this lesson. I do hope you'll share this with another friend of yours. Thank you. Diane Hanks.